Hey everyone, today we're excited to announce that we've released our version of portfolio diversification at Compounding Edges. Now portfolio diversification is very easy to add to any build that you want via a recipe that you create. So I've already gone ahead and created a, a very simple recipe. I named it Efficient Frontier, and we'll get to why I named it that in a second. But if you click on it, you can see that all it is is two steps right now. And what you have is you have a simulating step and then a diversification step immediately following it. So we need to always use a simulating step prior to using a diversification step. It doesn't have to be used immediately prior. I'm just choosing to use it in this case immediately prior. But you can add steps before and after and around. Just make sure that you have a simulating step before. We can see right here that I've selected diversifying and I'm using the efficient frontier strategy. Right now, we're only offering one strategy. In the future, we will be expanding this to multiple different strategies as we build them out. From this, I'm going to only choose the top 150 lineups. But for now, let's talk about what the efficient frontier is. So I'm gonna head on over to Wikipedia here. I have the tab already open. You can read more about it. Now this is a financial concept that's borrowed basically from modern portfolio theory. It's called the efficient frontier. And what it states generally is what you want to be entering or what you want to be selecting as your assets in finance is the asset group that maximizes your return while minimizing your risk. So in finance, it's pretty obvious what's going on with your stocks there. However, in DFS, we measure risk a little bit differently. And the risk in DFS is that your lineups are basically moving the same direction. So when one finish is good, most of them finish good. And this results in clumping of your lineups and it results in more volatility in your results. So what we're trying to do in fantasy sports is obviously we're trying to lower our risk as much as possible because we really don't want the variance. We need to weather the storm in order to maximize our wins when we do win. So that's what this efficient frontier does. It says, hey, I want the lineups out of this cloud that move in the most opposite directions. So if I click this little icon right here to start running the cut, this is gonna take a second because it's gonna be running over 10,000 different simulations on this cloud of 5,000 entries. But when it finishes, or 10,000 entries rather, when it finishes, you're gonna see that we do indeed have these lineups that are selected out of the cloud that move in the most opposite directions. Now, if you click this right here, I wouldn't worry too much about the sim ROI stuff. That's gonna be kind of muddied basically by the, the, the cutting function that I have right now. But you can see that there's a good amount of diversification in the lineups that are being selected from both a team perspective and a stack perspective, which is good. So if I click back here, you can see that indeed we do have lineups that are being selected out of this entire cloud. It looks kind of random, but these lineups are the lineups that do move in the most opposite direction, which is negatively correlated, and also the most decorrelated uh, decorrelated way, which is basically saying that they don't move the same direction at all. And that's basically it. You can go ahead, like I said, and select any sort of uh, steps that you want prior to it or steps after it. You can kind of build up your own recipes in a unique way. And then when you're satisfied, you can head on over to back testing and back test these strategies to see what performs the best for you.